Hey, what's up, guys? It's Mar again, back again with another trade video. Uh, today, I'm going to go over Alibaba. I did actually short Alibaba today. Very ironic that I shorted Alibaba on singles days on 1111, which is uh, tends to be like the biggest uh, revenue sales uh, day of the whole year. Um, but the reason why I shorted today was because yesterday the Chinese government uh, introduced new guidelines for interest, antitrust rules for these big Chinese technology companies and Alibaba is one of them. Uh, so today I was actually uh, hoping for a continuation of that down move because yesterday was a huge down move and it also broke a very key level. And I'm going to talk about that trade. Now I also shorted uh, Uber um, because it was overextended. So I'm going to explain that to that in, in the chart. There was a lot of good news that happened in Uber the last couple of days besides uh, California passing uh, Proposition 22, which um, uh, allowed um, Uber to keep his employees as contractors, not as employees, which is huge. Also, uh, Uber had earnings, and also Pfizer had a, a COVID-19 uh, vaccine news on Monday that was very positive. So it was just news at the news at the news, and it had this huge move, and I felt that that move was overstanded, and I wanted to short it. Uh, but I'm going to go over those trades. Uh, again, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to this channel if you, uh, learn, if you, if you learn something and take any value. Uh, let's get started. Let me uh, share my screen. All right, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start with Alibaba. So Alibaba um, it, it's been trending actually really nicely. Um, and, you know, every time it, it touches the 50-day the, the, the moving average, it has like a little bounce. And I actually bought here uh, around the two, 290 area on my long-term account. Uh, well, one, because of the Biden news, you know, him uh, being the president-elect, uh, which was going to be good for the whole, uh, you know, Chinese trade war with, between the U.S. That might end. Uh, but also because of Singles Day, which is actually today. So the irony thing is that I ended up shorting uh, Alibaba on Singles Day, which is kind of funny. But there's a reason why. And, and, and I'm going to kind of show you in the chart. So yesterday, which is this day, um, Alibaba broke below 280. This is a very important uh, support level. And the reason why it broke below that level with high volume is because the Chinese government is introducing new guidelines for antitrust rules uh, that is going to hurt large technology companies in China. So Alibaba is one of them. I believe also Tencent and there's a couple more. They're going to be affected by that. Uh, so looking at the intraday chart, and just to show you guys that, uh, I mean, it was just literally just straight. Uh, it was a gap down, even pre-market, it just sold. I mean, in the open, it was just like straight sell off and it kind of just bounced around uh, this uh, 265 level. Uh, so today uh, I was actually looking for, you know, of course, a low hanging fruit uh, short to continue that move. Um, it, op it had a pretty, it had actually had a gap down in the morning, but that gap down was kind of bought up and it kind of literally, uh, trended and it went green it went green pre-market and actually went green also at the open and this actually this area i, I thought it was going to kind of hold this 268 level i thought it was going to hold and, and kind of pull back but i was looking for confirmation maybe like a, a lower high lower high so i could kind of short but it actually went straight to my 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 entry level actually i usually like to short uh, these type of trades on the midpoint so it went straight to the midpoint and i got in at 270 so i was actually kind of happy about that so that was my original plan to kind of get a strong open, get it to the uh, midpoint. And I also had some shares to sell at 272. Uh, didn't get filled by like 10 cents, but that's fine. Um, you know, I did get a chance to kind of add on this confirmation of lower highs. So we got the first push. I got in here at 270. It almost hit 272, my second uh, level to get in. To get in. Uh, but I kind of pulled back. It hit that 270 level, very important midpoint, and I kind of rejected it. So when it broke below this two, 269 area, I was like, dude, I'm in. I'm going to add to this, this winner. So I added here, and I decided to cover half at the, at the VWAP volume with the average price. And it had a really tight stop. You know, really had, had a really tight stop above two, 267. I was hoping to kind of start taking some more shares below, below the VWAP here at 265 and even 263, uh, but I got stopped out. And that's fine. That's fine. I still had a really nice win on this trade. So I'm very, very happy. Very nice comeback from yesterday's 
uh, a losing day on, on Neo. So I'm happy. I'm happy with this trade. Uh, so this was overall really uh, well, good, a really a good trade. Now going to Uber, Uber, Uber. Um, you know, Uber has so many such a so many good news catalysts back to back that it almost doesn't even know what what what, what to do. You know, the first catalyst was uh, uh, California passing uh, Proposition 22, which allowed Uber and and other uh, rideshare companies like Lyft to. Uh, to keep their employees as uh, contractors, uh, which of course is good for the business. Uh, not only that, but Uber also had some uh, earnings reports. It looked like uh, they had some nice, uh, I guess, future expectations. And also we had a news on Monday, uh, the uh, Pfizer uh, talking about the uh, their new COVID-19 vaccine that has a 90% advocacy rate. And of course, all the rideshare companies like Uber and Lyft, they've been heavily, they've been getting, they got hurt really badly during the uh, pandemic. So of course that is gonna be good news for them. So we had this huge, huge gap up, you know, on, on Monday. And I felt like this, this gap was gonna get filled, especially if they had with this day, it was kind of looked like a uh, overextended day or kind of like a blow off type of candle. And I actually thought that yesterday was gonna go red uh, but I was kind of focused on on, on, Lit, on Neil on yesterday. But the, the thing that I didn't like is that it kind of gapped down pre-market. Um, it went red pre-market. So I, I was not a fan of that. It did kind of open strong. And then it had a, a huge uh, pullback again, a reverse of that move. So that was a little bit weird. But again, this kind of also looked like an exhaustion type of a move. Uh, so today I was looking for, you know, this thing could go red and we could kind of fill this gap to 45. So my target was of course uh, shorting on a red, a green, a green to red move um, and, and the covering around the 45 uh, area. So unfortunately the market was very, very strong. Also live reported earnings today. So just having lift reporting earnings and there were good earnings and also the market uh, being very strong. Uh, let me show you the NASDAQ really quick. Uh, because um, yesterday, of course, we had a huge gap down. So I felt like we were going to have a bounce, you know, because it, it kind of like held that 280 level. So the market was really, really strong today. You know, look at that. You know, I think I would have been better just buying the, the, the Qs, you know. <laughs> I think I would have been a better trade. But, um, yeah, so looking at Uber, uh, again, you know, I felt like, uh, you know, again, I was, I was, I was hoping that, of course, once we kind of went red after it broke 47, that's the, the, that's the <clears throat> previous clothesline. And it broke the, the, um, the, uh, uh pre-market lows, you know, it pulled back to that level. I wanted to get short. So I did short and I was hoping that at this level, it's going to get stuffed. And then we will we'll continue that sell off till we get that, you know, the S1 pivot or eventually 45. That was my thought process. But again, market being strong, lift being strong, it, it literally just pushed uh, this to, to, and it went actually from red, from green to red to red to green. So I, I should have actually stopped out right here. And this is the only error that, um, that I, again, I, I didn't, you know, I, I kind of, you could say I kind of made a mistake and I need to definitely uh, learn more about, uh, you know, take consideration next time I trade these type of setups. I should have stopped out once, once we had the first initial stop and then a pullback, my stop should have been right here around 4660s, you know, in this area. I should have stopped out right here after the VWAP, the volume at weighted average price held and it continued that move. I should have stopped out right here. Now, I did hold it because I was, you know, hoping that the uh, opening line, which is around uh, 4670s, would have held and we would have pulled back. But you know, that cost me an extra hundred bucks or so, but hey, whatever, man. I still made a really nice uh, gain on, 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 on Alibaba, so I'm, I'm very happy with that. But this is what I would have done if I, to improve this trade. I would have covered right here, you know, instead of covering, you know, over here. So that's the only thing I want to say about Uber. Now, funny thing about Uber is that it kind of, it kind of went red again. So from green to red, Red to green to green to red again, dude. It's just Uber's all over the place, you know. I feel like it doesn't know what to do. There's just been so many catalysts uh, the last couple of days that, you know, it's just like it doesn't know what to do because you want you have these long-term investors who want to buy it because things look really really good with Uber, 
uh, but then you have, but then the stock is overextended. Um, so it, it's, it's, it's in a really weird spot. So I, I think I'm going to hold on it. You know, I think there was going to be a first red day, like a big down move. It was going to be today, tomorrow. And there might be one, but I feel like there's not enough meat in the bone, you know, to, to kind of work, be worth my, my, the risk anymore. Um, you know, I hope actually that the best first, uh, the, the best, uh, uh, first red day would have been nice here on Tuesday, actually, uh, if it would have sold off all the way to 45, but that didn't happen. Um, so, uh, that's, that's pretty much it guys. Um, I hope you guys learned something from this video. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to this channel. If you guys learned something, uh, see you guys the next time. Have a good one.